In this video, I'm going to show you a way to beat the dollar meta with a really good zone and man beater out of the trip side information. This is going to be really effective for not only a quick snap setup, but it's also going to be effective for any kind of zone pressure, man blitz, or just basic coverage defense that you're going to get. Now, if you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook and learn how I run this offense uh, to the T, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. The link is in the description if you want to sign up for it. It gets you access to all of our ebooks. We're dropping a brand new defensive ebook uh, today we dropped a brand new defensive ebook last uh, or earlier this week as well so if you want to get access to all of that material make sure you're in the patreon it's only ten dollars to be a member and it gets you access to everything all of our ebooks all year long and all of our updates all right so what we're going to do here is we're just going to streak our running back so verticals is so good because you can quick snap this play um and it's really hard for the opponent to you know really kind of like it, it's hard for them to stop everything that we can do so the first thing you want to do is if they're in a DB fire type of look, then you want to at least peek over here and see if you can hit this streak. Um, this streak is really effective against cover two, especially if you run your trips to the wide side of the field. When you have um, your tight end and your running back on the short side of the field, that is going to help this play and the setups um, significantly. So you're going to look to the left side. Can I throw, you know, can I throw the seam there? Or can I step up and throw that seam? Now right there, the vertical hook match. Typically, typically that's not going to happen. Um, typically what's going to happen is the vertical hook will kind of lurk underneath. And then if you have time, you see there I can hit that. Now, this is not the only read on the play. but So what this is going to cause them to do is it's going to cause them to basically go to a cover three. So a cover three would look something like this. And they're going to have to use the running back, which I'll come back to in just a second. So what you'll see, what's open in the cover three, is this little high ball right here to McCole Hardman right on the app. It's, it's what I call an access throw. You're just peeking it. Do I have access? Okay, I can pop it in that little, uh, in that little grass section. So how can they combat these things, right? Well, one of the things that they're going to do is they're going to lurk right here. And what I have found with running this play is they're basically going to play more like a mid read than a vert hook because they're going to kind of roll into that seam and try to take away that high ball to McCole Hardman. But what that does is it's going to leave this little streak wide open to your running back right in that little pocket against zone coverage. So now they're in a kind of a dilemma where they have to basically play man coverage um, to stop this. Now, the way people are playing man coverage right now out of dollar is going to look something uh, like this. Um, so you see here, it's kind of a basic man look. Um, again, if you take a look here, uh, typically what this is going to mean if they do it like this, because what they've got to be also concerned about with trips tight end is they have to be concerned with a C route on the left side. So you're typically going to get some type of outside third on that side. And then this guy right here is going to kind of rob um, again in the middle of the field. And then they're going to have, you know, this backside guy manned up on the tight end, especially if they want to send pressure. So in this example right here, if they start their their lurk to the to the left side, which they typically will because they're trying to stop the access throws in the seam early, then what you're going to be able to do is same kind of thing. You're just going to step up, hit the running back, and you see how effective this can be. So now what they're going to have to do to counter some of this stuff, and really the best defense for this, is kind of a more of a man look where they're going to go with some variation uh, of a coverage that looks like this. Uh, and then they're going to have on the back side, they're going to probably have, you know, an, maybe even just a straight up all out man coverage. Um, you know, but typically you're going to get some variation of this right here, you know, where you're kind of getting, you know, taking the running back away. So this is kind of what we're funneling them into having to do. Uh, and the problem with this is, number one, the blitz is not as good. Um, of course, as I say that I get screamed at, but number two, the tight end is going to be open if they are in main coverage. Um, if, if you have a tight end that can run pretty decent routes, you'll see that this guy is pretty effective at, uh, at getting open in man-to-man, -man, even if he's outside here. So um, from a pass protection standpoint, what I like to do is come out, I'll slide protect to the trip side, and then I'll streak my running back. That's pretty much my setup. And then what you'll see here um, is this corner route. You can actually kind of cut this off a little bit. Now, I will say that um, because Cal Kelsey doesn't have a short in elite, that that really does hurt him um, just in terms of how he's able to separate against man. But 
this will be a little bit more accurate representation uh, of kind of what you're going to get uh, when you run this deep or when you run this offense. So what you'll see here is he's going to get that leverage. You're going to pass like down and outside. I'm actually using classic passing as well. I think that classic passing is actually pretty good if you have uh, a throwing, like a throwing ability, like set feet lead or something. So you saw right there, like if they start to run more man-based coverages, we're going to look to hit the corner route. Now, the other thing that I want to say is as we kind of, you know, get them out of the blitz, right? As we kind of get them um, out of the blitz, then we start to have a conversation about, you know, how is this play going to do? at getting you know, a, a separation against man-to-man. -man. Well, in this scenario right here, they're gonna have to go use the, the tight end. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff with the tight end here in just a second. But they're gonna have to go use the tight end with their user, kind of help poach that. And so what you're gonna get is this this um, this little crosser pass like that inside, and you see that's gonna be able to beat man-to-man -man without any abilities whatsoever, okay? Now, I wanted to just spend a few minutes here and talk about zone coverage, specifically cover three. Um, what makes this place so good, especially when you run it with your trips to the wide side of the field, is we know that short side floods are really, really good in this game, and running back streaks will actually pull um, inside or outside thirds when they are to the short side of the field. So what you're going to see is he's going to pull this cover three third, and you're going to have this guy wide open, you know, over here to the sideline. So as you can see, very effective uh, for attacking that. If they are going to go into a cover two, most of the time with this year's game, the way people are playing, they're going to be pin, uh, pressing their 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 uh, cover two. And what you can do is you're going to highball it and pass lead it over the top of the cloud. So you see how this can break down pretty much every zone coverage in the game, and it can also break down main coverage as well. Now I want to show you cover four drop just to show you one more coverage that's kind of co uh, common that you're going to see against trips tied in. And again, the beauty of this is we're just sliding to the to the left, and then we're snapping the ball. And what you're going to see here is kind of that same idea. You're going to see this corner route just pass laid down and outside, and it's going to be pretty effective at getting the separation against cover four drop. Now if they were to press the cover four, um, like if they were to give you something like this, uh, you should still be able to throw this corner uh, right in that little alley right there. And most of the time when people run cover four, you're going to be seeing hard flats from that player. So it's going to make this even more open. The other thing I want to uh, quickly say about cover four is if you wait on this, um, obviously your running back can be, if he, would, if he was taller, he'd be able to catch that. Tall running backs catch stuff a lot better, um, which is why I actually still think that uh, Eric Dickerson actually has some some value um, in this game. So anyway, you'll see right here, see how that quarter just ignores him, and it's because of the streak. And it's, it's also a little bit because of the crosshair, but it's primarily because of the streak. You'll see right here that if I didn't have this, um, if I didn't have this streak, this corner route, when I try to throw this, you see he's going to lurk onto it. So by using this running back streak to the short side of the field, it makes this a significantly more effective concept. I want to thank you for watching this video. Really simple little play today. I wanted to talk just about quick snap. I've been trying to kind of work on some quick snap plays. I think, you know, having plays like this that you can just one hot route and snap the ball quickly uh, makes your offense, I think, is significantly more dangerous because they can't just, you know, assume they're going to have a ton of time to set up their defense. So if you want to learn more about the trips tight end offense, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. Get you access to all of the ebooks, all the updates that we have all season long. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.